In this video, we're going to take a look at the basics of physics in Amazon Sumerian. More specifically, we are going to look at collider components, rigid body components, and how together they make physics. So let's get started. Okay, I'm here in my scene, and in the last video, we added a few different uh, entities to our scene. More specifically, we added this game ball. Uh, now the game ball right now is sitting, we placed it right above this table and the table is above the ground, but they're all just suspended in there. And let's just see what happens when we press play. Not surprisingly, nothing happens when we press play. That's because we have not enabled anything within our scene to respond to gravity or enabled it to them to collide with each other. So there's a few different components we need to take a look at. Let me increase the size of my screen a bit. Okay, so make it a little easier to see. Uh, what we need to do first is we need to add uh, some collider components to each of our uh, the, the game ball and the table. So let's do that first. I'm going to select my table offset, uh, and then I'm going to open that up and select the table. I need to actually add this to the table, not the table offset, because I want it to uh, wrap around this actual table itself. Uh, the collider entity and we'll, or the collider component. We'll see how that works in just a moment. So with the table selected, let's click add component and we will select collider. Now, if you see the shape is automatically a box, that's because the shape of the collider is wrapping itself around this table, which is actually a box. Now the half extents we're not going to worry about the trigger or right now or the restitution. We will look at trigger in another video. Uh, but the half extents, we don't really want to change those. But I'm just going to change these just so you can see what these are doing. And I'm actually in play mode. I need to stop. All right. Now that I've... Let's return this back to five. You can see here that there's a green wire frame wrapping itself nice and snugly around this table. If I return that value to 6.6 .6 and 0.6 here on, oops, oops, I did not mean to do that. You see how the, you see how the collider entity, the collider frame is, um, it's larger now than our actual box. That means that even though the visual entity ends, you know, here and here, the collider part of it, or the collider mesh, will uh, extends beyond it. The collider component extends beyond it. So the ball, it could actually land over here where it doesn't appear there is a table, but the collider extends to that far, so it will. But so that's how the that's how colliders work. I'm going to return these to 0.5, so it will land uh, perfectly on the table and will fall off the table, um, uh, respectively, to the edge of the mesh. All right. Uh, so that's all we really need to do to the table. We don't want the table to move, at least fall to the ground. We want it to stay suspended. Uh, the ball, however, we do want to fall. So um, we're going to add two components to the game ball. I'm going to select the game ball. The first thing I'm going to add is also a collider. Now here you can see that the shape of the collider by default is a box. You see how it's much larger. And let's just see what happens when we press play. This will demonstrate a little bit better what I was trying to say a minute ago. Well, actually, I take that back. We haven't added a rigid body, so nothing will happen. Uh, so we'll just keep moving. Uh, the, bo the shape, let's change to sphere. But there we see that this, the, sh the collider component extends well beyond the sphere. So we need to change the radius a bit. So we're going to change the radius to... Point three, you see how it's starting to it's starting to uh, narrow down a little bit closer to the size of the sphere. Let's try point one five. Now, if we zoom in, that's pretty tight. It's not exact, but it's close enough, so that'll work. So we'll leave it at point one five for the radius. Okay. Now, to get it to fall, uh, we need to add a component, and we're going to add a rigid body. A rigid body component is essentially a component that will add gravitational pull to an entity. We don't want to apply gravitational pull to everything in our scene, and that's not that's not how Sumerian works. You actually have to apply a rigid body to specific entities that you want to fall to the ground uh, or fall through space. So we will select a rigid body component, and we're not going to do anything else at the 
yet, and we'll press play and see what happens. There we go, perfect. And it rolls off. And it rolls off through the floor. I zoom in at the moment. Um, right, so it rolls off the table, it hits the table, and it rolls off the table. So it's acting the way we want. However, we do want there to be a collider on the floor so it can land on the floor as well. So lastly, we need to add a collider to the ground. So we'll select the ground entity. We'll select add component and then add a collider. Now again, the shape, if you zoom out, let's look at the, let's look at our ground. It's this large disc. And if we have a box shaped collider around that disc, it's gonna be this huge box, which we don't want. What we do want is an infinite plane. So the infinite plane will then extend infinitely, uh, ex extend infinitely beyond uh, the disc. So what actually, and we'll see how this works in a moment. So let's zoom in. You can see the collider shape there on this disc. Let's press play, see what happens. See the ball land, fall through the air, land on the table, lands on the floor, and then it continues to roll. Now, if we wait, you'll see, you'll see it going towards the edge of the disc, and because it has an infinite plane collider, it'll just keep rolling infinitely off into space. So that's the way an infinite plane works, which is fine for our, um, our situation, our use case here. And that's the basics of physics. Physics are usually comprised of a rigid body and colliders. Rigid body, again, to repeat or to summarize, uh, rigid bodies are collider or components that are added to entities to add a, a, a gravitational pull to them. However, that doesn't mean that entities will actually run into each other or be able to collide with each other. That's what the collider component is for. So these two components work in tandem to create basic physics within Amazon Sumerian. We hope you join us for the next video.